we have officially entered the thinking era with Google being the latest company to launch a thinking model. There is Gemini 2.4 flash thinking model. And if you're not familiar with this family of thinking model, this is the kind of model that has test time scaling. So during the inference time, when you ask a question, these models create multiple candidate responses. Partly they use a strategy called chain of thought and then go back and forth and then come up with the final answer. So basically, instead of a model coming up with an answer immediately, you tell the model that you can take a couple of seconds, come up with more answers, use your intelligence to give me the best answer or go back and forth and then give me the final answer. This is what the thinking model or reasoning model has been. And Google being the latest in this list has launched Gemini 2.0 flash based thinking or reasoning model. Google decided to call it thinking, not a reasoning model. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can access this thinking model and a couple of questions we can ask and understand how the thought process is going on and how the model fares. Let's get into the video. First of all, if you were to use this model, this model is straight away available. No wait list. Thank you, Google for that. First of all, if you go to aistudio.google.com and once you go there, you have the model list and you can see that there is some preview model and one of the preview model is Gemini 2.0 flash thinking experimental. Even though it says the pricing for input and output token, this model at this point is available only with 32,000 context window. And I guess it might improve. Another thing is this says that this model is available with multimodal reasoning, which is also something that uh, OpenAI recently announced for uh, O1. So let's see how it is going to do. But mainly if you want to use this model, you, like you have to understand that there is some kind of a calculation, some kind of question that you want uh, the model to think through, iterate through and then come up with an answer. So those are the kind of questions that these kind of models do pretty well. Otherwise you are very well good, better with Gemini 2.0 flash or a GPT 4.0 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So this is one area where I'm trying to improve my knowledge as well to understand what are the kind of prompts, what are the kind of use cases where these kind of thinking models or reasoning models are extremely helpful. But otherwise you can see the best thing is the knowledge cutoff is August 2024. So the closer that you have got the knowledge cutoff to the current date, the better it is because it's going to be more factual and less hallucinations. And um, okay, that's all about the model. All you have to do is go here, select the model and then you're good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my AI studio. And once I go to my AI studio, you can see that in my case, this model has been already built. And any question that you ask, like as simple as who are you? The model is going to go into thinking. I think that is kind of an improvement that they are going to do. OpenAI O1, this had the same problem at the start, but later on they improved it. So you can see, I said, who are you? It took 3.3 seconds. You can expand the model view thoughts or uh, thoughts like what the model went through. So it says my thinking process to answer the question, who are you goes like this. Identify the core question. Start with the most direct and accurate self description. Attribute my creation, elaborate on my abilities briefly, keep it concise and accessible. Consider the user's intent. Uh, the user likely isn't looking for a deep dive into the intricacies of neural networks. They want a basic understanding of what I am or what I'm capable of. Review and refine. And then finally, it gives you the answer. So if you see the answer, the answer is as simple as this one single line that says, I am a large language model trained by Google. That's it. And it thought about this. If you want to ask another question, click create a prompt and go ask a question. So which one is bigger 6.5 or 6.05? Oh, I should say 6.91 or um, I, I even forgot the question. So let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead with this. So which one is bigger? So it's going to think about it. So you can see it is thinking. The question is this, both numbers have the same whole number part, which is six. This means the difference in size will be determined by the decimal part. The first digit after the decimal part is in the 10th place. So it says it is 10th, it is one, and then it is doing the comparison and then it is saying the 6.95 is bigger than 6.75. So the good thing is you can actually see the thinking process. So it gives you, and it also like renders latex, I guess. So you can see the entire thing. Let me go ask another question, which is like at this point, a boring question everybody's asking. How many S's are there in bananas? I'm intentionally not adding the apostrophe or, uh, you know, just to say SS for it to understand. I'm just looking for SS. 
so let me send this run um, it's again thinking there is one SS in bananas it says s okay that's interesting the user wants to know the number of SS I don't know why it is still looking for SS uh, look at the letters one by one the note is the two s characters next to each other at the end of the word this is quite weird um because I meant to ask for a single s which for that particular use case the answer is correct but it is actually looking for ss and it assumes that there are two s in this bananas which is bananas so the answer is correct but i don't know what to say maybe like as a human i made a mistake by saying s only s how about how about a single s let's see how about a single s it's thinking again okay let's count the individual one it says there are two instances of letter s in the word bananas do we have two i think we have only one yeah so the user is asking about one going through the letter the marker mentally note each time the letter appears so it says the s appears at the fourth letter one two three four quite it's it's bananas um and uh yeah so initial thought there are two two abrupt doesn't connect to the previous question better thought there are two s so it looks like google is also I'm not sure like what is like happening behind it, what kind of system prompt it operates with, but you can very well see that uh, there is some kind of an initial thought. So like if you see the graph, very much like a chess player recently, the world chess champion finish, championship finish. So if you see chess players, you have got an opening, you've got a middle game, and then you've got an end game. So opening is where people try to sometimes make quick decisions because they're in preparation. Middle game is where people take a lot of time to think through and then have some kind of an end game. And it seems like it's going through something like this initial thought, a better thought and the best thought. So I don't know like how these kind of thoughts are designed, but all the questions that I asked, like this model is not designed for these kind of questions. I mean, it's fun for making YouTube videos for these kind of questions, but this model is not for that. So I've got two prompts. One is obviously I took it from uh, a very popular YouTuber, AI Explained. So, yeah, I explained YouTuber, um, quite popular YouTuber at this point has got something called a simple bench challenge. So I picked up one question from this. The question is question number 10. It's a math question, very similar, like what you would have solved in your quants, quantitative aptitude date. If you have done engineering, I did engineering. So I had to solve a lot of these kind of problems to get job. So you have got this one and I literally copied this and then pasted it uh, into this model. And the model thought for nine seconds, which is quite fast to be honest. And after five seconds, it went through a lot of details. And then it finally gave me an answer that says, therefore one hour later, the waterproof glove is approximately four kilometer east of the center of the bench. Now, when I go check the answer, four kilometer east is the wrong answer. What does it say? It says one, the benchmark is good. Two, probably the model has not been trained with the benchmark. Three, the model might have some kind of improvements that might occur in the future. There is one more question where, uh, which was shared by Noam Shazir, who is uh, the co-founder of Character AI, but also a very popular deep learning figure who left Google to start Character AI, now went back to Google again, one of the co-authors of Attention is All You Need paper. So this was shared by Noam Shazir in a video. So I took the same thing. If I keep flipping a coin, until I get H, 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 head, 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 or head, tail, head. What are the odds I get one versus another? And I feel this is a very interesting prompt because I don't know how many of you, I, I do data science for my job. And part of that, a lot of people love for us to build simulating models or simulations. Like for example, when you, when you have to simulate uh, 100, customer support tickets instead of 200 customer support tickets, what kind of um, situations you would arrive at. And this is a very popular uh, optimization kind of a problem. People used to use linear programming. Now people use ML models for it. So you've got an assembly line instead of 100 people, if you have got 200 people, but instead of three breaks, if you have six breaks, what kind of output or throughput you would have? Like this is a very popular optimization problem. And I feel like probably maybe these kind of models could be used for that. I've never tested it. But after seeing this prompt and the kind of thought process it went, so it thought about first of all 30 seconds, which is quite good. And then you can see that it goes through 
like uh, like a math intern um, so the problem asks for the probability of getting sequence hhh before hth when flipping a fair coin so one it understands kind of the problem what are the odds i get uh, one um, versus other and then it goes on to try to solve the problem by all these things and finally in fact you can see here it tries to create the state i mean i don't know how many of you know markov chain but when you do markov chain this is the kind of state transitions you would draw to understand what is the current state where is the next state going to be and this model is trying to do all these kind of things so it start with head then head 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 and head tails and then from state 1 uh, state 0 state 1 i'm not pretending that i understand everything there but it's probability i did it at some point in my life but not now so it gives me the final answer i don't have any easy way to verify whether this is the right answer or not i um, i even tried it on wolfram alpha to give the same question but it didn't give me the answer you can uh, do a lot of things like for example i can just literally copy this oven preview question create a new prompt send it to the same model so it's got all these things and uh, you can see the model is going to the going through the thinking process so you can see all the things that the model is doing i felt this model is slightly faster than oven preview maybe not like the exact uh, oven Uh, the latest one so it is doing all these things here so you can see all all the thinking and after the thinking it actually summarizes and tries to give you the final result so finally there is an apple problems or solve difficulty once again this is this is not exactly what uh, owen did owen um, probably like came up with an answer like much more efficiently so he thought for 5 seconds and it said think step by step and uh, it it understood that and then it says there are three r's in the strawberry and it says there is an apple problems or solve difficulty so again these kind of problems might have multiple branches multiple kind of an answer but this is just gemini 2.0 flash it's not gemini 2.0 pro thinking model for this size of the model or whatever the flash the fastest model i think this is a really good thing that we have got but i would love to actually compare this model the multiple more questions probably make a video about oven mini versus flash thinking models and then see how it goes but anyways i hope this news was happier to you see you in another video happy prompting